Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy. Today's video, I decided to do something different. Yeah, putting up eight negates and watching your opponent score is very fun to do. And believe me, I do it all the time. Ask anyone. But I decided I'm gonna do something else. I'd rather let my opponent put up their oh sleeper, Appaloosa pass. Go second pendulum, baby! Mystic mind, response? No, because you lose. So we're gonna do today the go second version of pendulums with cards that I think are generically good versus every single matchup. It's just amazing. So we're gonna get into it, but before we do, make sure to give the cameraman some love. That's our boy Karibo Overlord. John Wilkin, his he has a YouTube, it is gonna be big one day, mark my words. He's at 300 subs now, but let's get that to 1,000. So make sure to go subscribe to him, subscribe to me, and look at this beautiful trick gameplay, man. Consider getting it online down below. Get it and let's go. We're gonna straight into the deck profile. First, go second card you want to play is for Mystic Mind. Why? Mystic Mind straight up in FTK. Whereas decks that don't know don't have a main deck out to it, what can they do? No deck is main decking Cosmic Cyclone or whatever. What deck has a main deck out to Mystic Mind? Literally none of them, especially when they don't see it coming. I will use my pendulum cards to bait out everything, drop a mine, and you just win the duel outright game one. Now, if they have some negates, let's say they're playing a good deck, like, I don't know, Mirror Match, you have evenly matched <laughs> as well to stop the negates, and then drop the mine, because mine's straight up game. Now, I know you're thinking, why, you're playing these 7 in Pendulum, why, you must brick, bro. No, I want you guys to see something here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 draw cards, and 11 of the 13 say draw 2. So, you're never actually bricking. And then they're all search cards, they're all plus cards, and the... You never brick. I took out the seven cards that potentially brick. Now you're just left with 33 amazing cards in the deck with seven auto win cards going second. So you go second, you drop one of these, you win, and then because Mystic Mind still allows you to lose your scales, after you bait out their interruption and drop this, activate Servant, activate Abductor and Scale, activate Mighty Master, blow up the whole board, so, uh, go into Selene, blow up board. Like, especially when they have five or six, mo five monsters and you drop a Mystic Mind, you can make Selene so easily. It'll have infinity counters. You drop the Mighty Master, destroy everything. So, the synergy with Selene going second with Mine is so broken because they have so many monsters on board anyway, especially on Needle Fiber. Decks are going to put up like five monsters and be like, yeah, nice deck. Mine, Selene, clear everything. So, it works out so damn amazing. Uh, also because of Magician Souls. Now, this is not a budget deck. You need to play Magician Souls in this. Why? Because when you're gonna have extra mines, extra evenlies, or your opponent could have five monsters, you could have Mighty Master, you could blow up all the interruptions they have, and then special the souls and get rid of your own Mystic Mind. Or Mi Mighty Master could pop your own Mystic Mind. So the synergy of Pendulum and this is amazing, especially because souls will flood the graveyard for the Selene. So the synergy is actually broken. You guys will see in testing when you do it for yourselves. This might actually be the list I'll use once Selene comes out, but obviously you'll need more testing. And I have four regional, three regionals and uh, YCS uh, uh, Connecticut. Uh, back to back after dual overlord overload so i'll be able to test all this non-stop one of them i will be playing go second so try this out for yourselves on dueling book it's actually broken the synergy is amazing it's, except when you face like a mind mirror match what's up uh, can you send a uh, pendulum with souls yeah so you said mighty master and then you uh use souls you make crowley draw two with the extra crowley on board you go into selene and then you get the free summon. And then a cool thing is if you don't open Mighty Master, because you have a super cool combo. So you drop Mystic Mind, right? Your point you're playing your point is playing some bad deck like Spiral. They have five negates on board, five cards on board. So you could freely make Selene, no problem. So you summon Souls, you summon Crowley, Souls sends a Mighty Master. You have no access to Mighty Master at all. Crowley in the after you draw two with the Crowley, you go into Selene. Selene now has a lot of counters. You activate any scale, or sorry, you special Mighty Master. You activate any scale, Mighty Master, and get your own scale, bounce Mighty Master back to your hand, and then you activate Mighty Master, and Selene has 15 counters on it. Then you use Mighty, your own Mighty Master, you bounce back from Souls onto the field, because Selene's on effect, and then blow everything up. Also, if you really want, and I'm going first, you, know, you can play Black Fang. Which can back that too, but I don't. I wouldn't like that just because Celine, with Celine, you want all the. Don't put it, guys in Celine builds. Don't play back. Uh, don't play. But you should want to play Black Fang because of Winda. But you want to. Oh, no, no. <laughs> but uh, anyway, you don't want to play too many cards special from the graveyard because you want the graveyard full specifically for Celine because you'll run out. You'll be able to summon Celine in your turn, your opponent's turn, your turn again, your opponent's turn again. So you'd rather not waste the summons on Black Fang or, or Medusa because you'd rather it save for Celine to summon. Is Celine once per turn? No. That's what's so broken about it. Like you'll summon Celine, you'll use Celine's first effect, and you'll link it to another Celine and use it again, which is so damn broken. So yeah, that, that's the synergy behind these and the souls. They work out so broken. And this is not a budget deck. I'm letting you guys know ahead of time. Uh, so yeah, one. Yeah, save up, boys. 
Uh, but don't save up by going to the casino because I learned in Vegas that it's a bad idea. A very bad idea. Uh, get a job. Get a job. Do that. Uh, servant Madness Reflection, don't play more, don't play less. You need them for utility, they're great. This is also fantastic because when you're missing cards to so summon out with Celine going second, you'll pendulum summon these two, you'll go into Absolute, you'll have some random other monster that doesn't, let's say a Servant that came out, uh, you'll use Celine effect to summon something that brought out with Souls, then you link them all again into another Celine. Celine will summon out a Vortex. So from like nothing, you're gonna have a Vortex, a Jackal that brought out from Souls, and then Celine will summon out a Mighty Master, and then another Reflection on your during your opponent's turn. So just from like three monsters that seem like get no negates, you're gonna have a Jackal, a Mighty Master, a Reflection, and a Vortex from what seem like nothing. So Celine opens up a lot of stuff, and Reflection allows that too. Uh, this is also, one more thing, this is not a noob-friendly or budget-friendly, as I said. So if you guys are looking for a noob-friendly or a budget-friendly type of deck, go to my Patreon where I have amazing budget builds for you guys, so go check it out there. But this is definitely not a budget-friendly deck. Next, we got Triple Abductor, the synergy of being able to normal summon it or put it in scale to complete your scale or search souls is broken. You guys saw how broken souls is in this deck with all the extra go second cards. What if you draw doubles? Get rid of it, draw more. All your extra draw card, triple desires, you want to get rid of it, free draws, or get uh, complete your scale. It's monkey board or search the best card in Yu Gi Oh! right now. So, in part, Abductor literally says monkey board or best card in Yu Gi Oh! at the moment. So, with that logic, Abductor is the best card in Yu Gi Oh! right now. Get that logic? Yeah, genius. Oh. Next, you want uh, you don't want to overdo it with Mighty Masters. Uh, we play two Mighty Masters, not three. Because the fact that Souls sends it, Souls kind of equals like five Mighty Masters. Because Selene will just bring it back. And you can always add it back to your hand by literally negating your own spells. So you don't want to clog on too much. So literally because, searches Mighty Masters. Yeah, exactly. That, that's crazy. Yeah, so it's like uh, in a cool way. And you'll still be able to resolve its effect. And Selene will give you the infinite counters. So you don't have to worry about it not having counters. The worst hands are when you draw something like, let's say, mine evenly, two Mighty Master, an Abductor, and like, I don't know, something random. Like, like, uh, any, like a Jackal. This is so bad. You don't want this. And I understand you can just clear board and summon this. You don't want that. You want to be able to play. You want to be able to draw your infinite spell cards that you play, your Abductors, those spell cards. You don't want to draw Mighty Masters or Jackals. That's why we cut the negates very low, because we're going second and you don't need that many hard negates. So what we do is we play uh, two Jackal, two Mighty Master, and that's it. Don't play more, because they're all searchable by souls when you need to. You could summon out easily. Uh, when you go into Beatrice as part of the combo with Chronograph, you can always send whatever you're missing, so you don't need more than that. And also just two servers. You don't want too many, you don't play Institution. Server is still a great card, but because Celine stores counters, it's not that needed anymore in three. Uh, especially when you're going second, we cut out everything that's absolutely not 100% necessary to ensure you have space for the go second cards. Next, I almost took this up, but it's just too damn good. You want to make Crowley, you want to make Celine. You can clear your opponent's entire board, especially with Abductor. It's very easy to put uh, three counters on Abductor. So there's a cool play to make Crowley is you get uh, two counters, you activate Mastery, whatever, the two counters, activate the Chronograph from your hand, before you use Chronograph's effect and scale, search another Chronograph to your hand with, with Abductor, activate Chronograph effect, special time gazer, and then special another Chrono, and that's to make Crowley without the normal summon, and then Crowley is gonna resolve no matter what, and then you can do more stuff like that. So, the Chrono has a lot of cool synergy with Abductor and the Negates, so it's important to play up play it still. Next, the, all the draw cards I talked about, look at this. How can you brick? It's actually physically literally impossible. You just cannot break. This is just all the draw cards in the game. You're playing 13 of them and 11 of them are draw two. So you cannot break. And also it ensures no matter what, you're going second, right? There's no deck in the game that's good that does not die to these two. Every good deck in the game dies to these two. So they're going second, especially when they're not prepared for it. Uh, so when you're drawing, you have six of the, seven of these, plus you're drawing them, you're drawing two of them every game, you just cannot lose. And then when you drop the Mighty Master, and so we guys have to understand who is Celine, the Pendulum becomes, literally, it becomes a, a Pendulum, Pendulum becomes, Pendulum becomes a, like, three card deck. So it's like, before you need all five cards to play, with Celine, as long as you can Pendulum three, have three monsters, as long as you can make a Crowley, and Pendulum two connection deck, you win. Because as long as your graveyard stack with the souls, or whether you make, let's say you summon two level sevens, and go into Absolute, or two level six, you go into Beatrice, to flood the graveyard, <laughs> The pendulum are so broken now, they literally become a three card engine. It's like before, you can have two card combo, three card combo, but pendulum could never do this before. Who is Celine? Now it can. And three master. The deck just never bricks. It doesn't, even with all those cards going second. And because you have the six card as well, you're able to play with an extra six card, you offer it so much more. So I, I think it's like, it's amazing. And don't be scared of Winda, that deck's free. If you face a doll with this deck, it's the freest deck. 
Pendulum yes. Summon? Yeah. Yeah, like Pendulum yeah. Summon. <laughs> exactly. So it's like you can either use Cerberus if I to get rid of it, or if you don't open it, you literally pen summon in your hand, attack, and then a main phase two, like, like you win. What, like what's Winda Mech for doing to uh, literally nothing? Uh, and most of the time it's Cal twenty hundred games. Yeah, and most of the time it's Kaliga Winda, which is literally the buy. If it's Mechabo Winda, you just have to think a little bit, but it's still the buy. And you still have Mystic Mind too, so it's like it's even easier and evenly. Now extra deck. Three Celine, okay? A lot of people are gonna play one Celine. They're dumb. Don't. You uh, you loop Celine. So a lot of times going first, you go two Celine first, and then you wanna save the third for your follow-up. Play minimum two, but I recommend three. It's literally you're so broken you guys have no idea. Next, one of each of these, they all come up. So I usually have Palooza, Phoenix Unicorn, Boral Load, Boral Sword. Next, the most important card is after Celine. Beatrice, why? Because when you summon out, let's say, a random Chronograph and a random Jackal, Chronograph is very important, I'm telling you guys. As long as you guys can flood your graveyard, you win the duel. So, if you pendulum summon something like this, it's going to be very normal. Let's say you have, let's say you, you don't have many cards to play with. You just have Crowley, you have Crow, you make, you have Evil, you have, so you have, this is your, your pendulum summon. You have, you open double evenly match, you have a Mystic Mind, which you pop with something. Like, you don't have much stuff. You, you wasted all your cards to get rid of your opponents in the gates. You're left with this. Oh, how could you put up too many in the gates with this? Well, you go Beatrice. Beatrice, send Mighty Master. Ooh. And now you're gonna have two negates from nothing. So it seems like no negates, but now you're gonna go into Selene. Selene's gonna have infinite counters. You're gonna get Mighty Masters. So this is gonna get spell cards from your spells, from your graveyard and your opponent's graveyard and your scales. So it's gonna have like 15 counters at least. Uh, if you have another spell, if you want to resolve the Mighty Master to clear the board, you use your own spell card to Mighty Master negate it, activate, then blow up your opponent's board, and then you have Mighty Master, and then next turn you summon a Jackal. So say so you blow up the opponent's entire board, and you have these, and because you have another sp uh, spellcast under Beatrice, and on your turn you're summoning something else with Selene. And then you're making another Selene, etc. So the deck's broken, like it's amazing. Uh, yeah, that's why you gotta play Beatrice, and that's why you gotta play Absolute. Alright, onto the side deck. The side deck's very difficult, because most of your side deck's in the main deck. So, but you got three deck over backer decks. You got three Dark Ruler for combo decks. You already have a bunch of cards for all those. You got the one red reboot. This plus mine is game against everything. Yeah, exactly. In fact, against Spiral or some decks that I know are just die, die against it, I don't care about playing. I will throw these in, plus even like plus Mystic Mine. I don't care to play. If you drop mine on some decks, it can't do anything. So, but they have some negate. So this is fine. This is just ensures that it resolves. Uh, next, also for back row. Just to ensure you're winning no matter what, going second. And also because they're pendulum cards. You don't know if your opponent's going to make you go first or second. So you want to have some random cards that are good versus back row plus our generic scales. So they pop back row plus just in case they make you go first. Uh, that you have uh, scales just in case. And, and it's fine if they make you go first. You just and Exactly. That and that's the beauty of it. If they make you go first, you're playing pendulums. Who gives a flying fuck? You're still putting in multiple in the gates. Like, so it doesn't like, matter. Oh, he let me go first the first game. Now I'm going to let him go first. Yeah, exactly. And that's the beauty of it with mind games. With, with mind games, you can do so many amazing stuff. That's also why I play Dino Wrestler as well. Because it's first or second. If you go first, you can pendulum summon it. And if you go second, you clear anything you want. And it's good versus everything. Uh, and some other stuff now is if I know I'm going first, if I'm toying with my opponent's head, I will put it. I will take out all the seven side cards and put in the Garuda. Because it's a hand trap, I'll put in another Cerberus to try and prioritize the Garuda. I'll put in one Sloth, which is funny, but you're playing a bunch of draw cards, you can search it. Because he's playing Selene, this is Jalgen. So, if you're going first, and your opponent doesn't know if you're going first or second after siding. Because your opponent is not evenly matched, go first. So after siding, you can toy with their head. So I'm going to put in Jalgen. Beatrice sent Jalgen and Selene special. And you'll have different cards to protect it, like IP Mascarena, or well, you can't even special. But, whatever. You'll have different cards, and then two Secret Village. So I'll take in those, I'll leave in the terraforming for the secret village, and I'll take out three mine and three evenly for these six. This is Jaugen. If I'm going first, just in case. You want the option to go first or second, just in case after siding, but nonetheless, your side deck covers everything. So that's the deck, guys. It, it, it's a whole different way to play Pendulum. That's a whole different game plan, and it works. I'm telling you. I, I created this one day, and I was just like, this, this deck's actually crazy, and it works. Alec, does it work? Yeah, it works, baby. It does work. So if you guys love the video, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Check out your boy Creep Overlord. Check out those people play, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.